Hi, this is Paresh Gupta from Cisco Systems. In the previous video of the slow drain series, I explained the basic concept. In this video, I'll explain the features available on Cisco MDS switches and data center network manager for slow drain detection and troubleshooting. If a port connected to an end node is receiving R ready slowly, it is called slow port. A slow port still forwards traffic but not at the line rate. A counter is maintained if the port does not receive R ready for 100 milliseconds. A port is called stuck port if it does not receive R ready at all and remains in this situation for a longer duration. Cisco MDS switches maintain a separate counter to detect stuck ports. For troubleshooting, Cisco MDS switches detect the number of times when remaining credits transition to zero. The count of total credit and remaining credit is displayed. MDS switches have the capability to display key information of the packets that are dropped due to timeout. Frames residing in the ingress queue can also be displayed. Multiple of events are logged and stored at onboard failure logging buffer to maintain the data for longer duration. In addition, the port monitoring feature enables SAN administrators to watch for specific events and trigger actions like alarms, traps and disabling the ports. On top of that, Cisco Data Center Network Manager provides a fabric-wide visibility for consolidating thousands of ports in a single view. DCNM automates the collection of slow drain counters and make it extremely intuitive to troubleshoot the situation by reducing false positives and showing fluctuations of counters in graphical format. In summary, Cisco NXOS and DCNM empowers you to detect and troubleshoot slow drain. In the next video, I'll explain automatic recovery from slow drain. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.